Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and welcome back to the Premiere Pro video series. And uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys some basic editing techniques and just some shortcuts that's also really handy to know. So I'm going to work on my edit one. So I've got edit one open at the bottom. As you can see I also deleted any other sequences that I had um, under my edits bin. So um, really easy to bring in a clip. You can just drag it into your sequence and it's going to bring in that whole clip from the beginning right to the end into your sequence. And you can click and drag to move it around. You can click this playhead, this line. That's basically the area that it's showing on your preview. Um, it's just showing you that, that frame basically. If you want to play back, you just press space bar on the keyboard. It's going to play back your video. And if you want to stop it, just press space again. All right, you can also just snap that to the beginning. So that's basically the beginning of your video. Um, as I said, you can just click and drag to move it around, really simple. If I bring in a second clip, you can just click and drag, bring it in, and it's gonna bring in that whole clip number two again. And basically you can also click and drag this one around. You also see that it will snap to other clips. So if I bring clip two closer to clip one, it's gonna snap to clip one. And now if I play this, it will go from clip one and it will cut over to clip number two. All right, let's bring in another clip so I can bring this one in right at the back and I'm gonna snap it to the end of clip two. So then I've got a new cut here and it's gonna go over to that clip. All right, so let's say you only wanna bring in a section of one of these clips. So I'm gonna delete all these from my sequence and um, I'm gonna double click on clip one. If I double click on it, it's gonna bring it up in the source window let me just resize this slightly like this. So this is my source window or my preview window. So I'm only previewing the clip from my project section. And uh, then it's got a little sequence here that you can scrub through. You can also click on play or press spacebar to play back. And it's going to show you like a preview of that clip. Now let's say you want to start your video. You don't want to import this whole video or this whole clip into your sequence. You only want to take a section. So let's say I want to start right here where the camera kind of pans down. I want to start right there. Then you can either use these uh, little icons here at the bottom, mark in and mark out. Or a really easy way is just to press I on the keyboard, I for in, and it's going to set an in point. And uh, then I'm going to scrub further down. So let's say you want to end the clip right about here. You can either press this out or mark out icon, or you can press O on the keyboard, O for out and you'll see it will set an out point there. So now it's only going to import that section of the video. And really simply, you can just click on the video here in the preview, click and drag it into your sequence, and it's only going to bring in that section of the video. Now the beginning of this clip and the ending of this clip is still here. It's not deleted. If I zoom in here at the bottom, this is the zoom. So you can use these sliders to zoom in and out. I can actually click and drag on the side of this clip and I can extend it back to the full video clip. Just like that. All right, as you can see as well, we've got two um, layers here in the sequence. The top one is the video and the bottom one is the audio. As you can see, it's actually, it's got a line in the middle here. So you can have multiple video clips and you can have multiple audio clips. And you can also see that they link together. So if I click and drag, they move together. What you can do is you can right click on this clip and you can go to unlink. And that will basically unlink your video from your audio. So now I can go and I can move my video independently from the audio. And I can do the same with the audio. I can also do, um, I can delete my audio. So I can select the audio and just press delete on the keyboard. That will only keep the video. So let's say you don't want to use the audio from the clip. You can obviously just remove it. Um, another thing that you can do, I'm going to delete this clip again from the sequence. I'm going to double click on clip one again. Um, it's still giving me that in and out. It actually remembered that I put an in and out for this clip in this area. And then what you can do is you've got these two icons here. You've got a little film strip and then you've got an audio waveform. So let's say I only want to bring in the video from this clip. I can click on this little film strip, click and drag that onto my sequence. And it's only going to bring in the video. Let's say I only want to bring in the audio. I can do a click and drag from the audio and just drag that in and it's only gonna bring in the audio for that clip. And obviously if I wanna bring in both of them, I just click on the little picture and just click and drag it in and it will drag in both the video and the audio. All right, I'm gonna delete this from my sequence again and I'm gonna bring in clip number two, the whole clip into my sequence, just like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do some editing right inside of the sequence. 
So let's say you want to put a cut or you want to cut through this video and audio somewhere around here. You can simply click on this razor tool and if you point to it, you'll see it will create like a line and it will also snap to the play. So let's say you want to cut it there, you can just click once and then I'm going to click on the selection tool again and you'll see now you've got two clips. So it's basically just cutting that clip right there and then it will carry on on this side. So now I can go ahead and I can delete this clip from the sequence and let's cut this clip as well. So I'm going to go back to the razor tool. I'm going to cut it right there. I'm going to go back to my selection tool and now I've got two clips. So it's basically just cutting that clip in half. So you can go ahead and you can delete this side of the clip and then you can go ahead and you can extend it again if you want to get that section of the video back. So it's never really deleting any of your video clips. It's just kind of cutting it and cropping it down. So you can always go back and extend it again to get to that section of the video. All right, a very useful shortcut that I use all the time is Command K. I think on the PC it's Control K. So basically if you select any clip like this, highlight it, and um, wherever your playhead is and you press Command K or Control K, it will automatically cut through that area. So if I've got this clip selected, I've got the playhead right there, Command K, it's gonna slice through it. So let's do it here, I'm gonna select this clip, Command K, and it's gonna slice through there. So that's just a really quick way of creating lots of fast cuts, just like that. And then you can go ahead and you can move some of these around, you can click and drag, or you can just simply highlight and delete them, or you can rearrange them, you can maybe put this one behind this one. You can select two clips at a time, you can drag them around, and that will basically just speed up your editing when using shortcuts. Okay, I'm gonna delete all these clips from the sequence again. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in a new video clip, and uh, this time I'm gonna double click on it so I see it in the preview. I'm just gonna scrub through this, and I'm only gonna select a section of this video clip. So I wanted to start right about there. I'm gonna press I on the keyboard to set my in point, and I'm gonna scrub further, and um, right about here I wanna set my out point. So I'm gonna press O on the keyboard to set that out point, and then I wanna drag in both the video and the audio. So I'm gonna click and drag from the picture and I'm gonna drag that to the beginning of my sequence. So now it's just bringing in that section, I can play it back, it shows that section of the video. And uh, let's say for instance, you want to duplicate this video on your sequence. For some reason, you want it to be at the back somewhere as well. You can hold an Alt and then just click and drag and it's gonna create a backup copy or like a duplicate of that clip. So let me show you if I zoom out here, and I'm gonna bring in a couple of clips. I'm just gonna bring in that clip. I'm gonna bring in that clip and this clip. And then I'm gonna create some cuts here. I'm gonna highlight that. I'm gonna press Command K, create another cut there, create another cut there, and another cut there. Now, lots of times you want to, you're busy editing and you want to kind of make a backup of this edit. You don't really wanna create a new sequence. You just wanna do some, some editing and do some tests but you wanna keep a backup copy of this specific edit. A really simple way to do this, I'm just gonna zoom out slightly, is to highlight all these clips and then hold an Alt on your keyboard, click and drag, and it's gonna create a duplicate or a backup of that edit. Now you can go ahead and you can do some changes on this one, maybe you wanna remove those two clips, maybe move these two closer together, like that. Let's say you wanna remove this one as well, move those two together, and then if your edit doesn't work out too well, you can always just go ahead and delete all these clips and then you can move these ones back to the front. So that's just the easy way to create a backup of a certain section of your edit. Okay, I'm gonna delete all these clips from the sequence again. Okay, let's bring in clip number one again into the sequence. What you can also do is you can do very basic copy and pasting. So I'm gonna highlight this clip one in my sequence and then we're gonna copy it. So I can either go to edit and copy or you can use the shortcut. So on a Mac, it will be command C and on a PC, it will be control C. And then I just move the play it to where I want to paste it. And then I can go to edit and paste. All right, so it's gonna basically just create a copy there. You can also use the shortcut. So I'm gonna just highlight this, press command C on the keyboard and then go somewhere in the timeline and press command V to paste. Right, as easy as that. If you have multiple clips, let's bring in clip number two. You can highlight both of these clips, command C to copy, go somewhere with the playhead, and command V to paste that. That's just an easy way to copy and paste clips. 
Okay, we can also bring in music the same way as we bring in video clips. So I've got my music under my music bin and I can simply just drag and drop some of these onto my sequence. And you'll see it's gonna create this green clip, which means it's audio only. And you can't drag that to the top because there's no video attached to that audio. You can also double click on the audio file here to bring it up in the preview window and uh, then you can preview it and you can also set an in and an out. So let's say you want to only bring in a section of this music clip, I can set the in point there by pressing I and then maybe set the out point here by pressing O on the keyboard, drag that in and it's only gonna bring in that section of the music track. Again, if I delete this one, the um, beginning and the end of this music track is still there, I can just trim it or expand it like that and uh, everything is still there. All right, I'm gonna delete that also from the sequence and that's how to do some basic editing inside of Premiere Pro. I'll see you guys in the next video.